And what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mac. Been having some technical difficulties, which is why y'all might not be getting videos. Y'all be getting videos this week, but they're coming late. And I apologize. Oh, but anyway, so uh, you see the title, Dragon Ball Super Movie Review. Now. On a scale of one to five, I'm giving it a 4.75. I think it is definitely one of the best Dragon Ball movies. Um, it's top five. It's, it's top five in, on my list. Um, top five on my list. I'm putting it right like superhero and Broly are like neck and neck. I, they're like neck, 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 and neck, like one A, one B, you know, kind of, kind of situation. So, um, the only reason I probably didn't give it higher, um, it, it's funny. One of the best things about the movie is the transformations, but one of the worst things about the movie is the transformations. And um, some transformation, if, if I look back at the Dragon Ball Z continuity of the show, you kind of see, you can, you, when certain transformations happen, you kind of see it coming or you, you know, it's possible. You, 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 you know, you know, it's there. Um, and I'm kind of contradicting myself because. One of the, like the main thing that made Resurrection F so good was when Goku and Vegeta turned Super Saiyan Blue. We didn't see that coming. Um, but I think the issue was it was explained. It was God energy. So it was Super Saiyan plus God energy. And that's how they got the Super Saiyan God. So it's kind of like, OK. I like that. That made sense, though. Even though it was new and it came out of nowhere, it made sense. The transformations in this movie, one of them made sense. The other one didn't. The other one didn't. Now, there is a reason the other one didn't. And I missed the benefit of the doubt. So I'm going to see both ways. I'm going to see every angle of it. And I'm going to do a spoiler review. I'm not going to spoil the whole, whole movie. I'm just going to give a quick synopsis of what happened and how and how it happened and this, that and the other. Um, but that's why that's one of the reasons why I didn't give it a five. The other reason I didn't give it a five. Akira Toriyama. He did two things in this movie. That was just kind of like, Really? First of all, the first one is the main bad guy. There's several bad guys in this movie, but the main bad guy. And this might be a spoiler. I'll put it like this. Can we get something original? <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Can we get something original, Akira Toriyama? That's all, I, that's all I ask. Can we get something original? That's number one. That's number one. Um, and then the second thing is there is a post credit scene and in this post credit scene, something happens that has never happened in Dragon Ball Z. And it's like, yay, but how it happened is like, that don't count. That, that sh don't count. That don't count. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm glad it happened, but it's like, that didn't count. That didn't count. You know? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that didn't count. <laughs> so, but yeah, if I had to rank it among all the, the continuity of all the Dragon Ball movies, I would say this movie is, like I said, for me, it's top five. Number one, my favorite movie, my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie is, um, Fu uh, Fusion Reborn, I think it's called. Um, let me, let me look it up. Cause I don't want to mi misrepresent 
the movies. I don't want to re- misrepresent the movies. Uh, yeah, Fusion Reborn. That's my fa- that is my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie because it because it introduced me to go to Gogeta, and Gogeta was so sick in that movie. Like Gogeta is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. Like, and it's not even close. Gogeta is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, and I um. And and it, I feel like that's cheating because it's like it's Dragon Ball. I mean, he's not it's not like he's a he's a main character. You know what I mean? He's just um, he just so happens to be part of the continuity. It's kind of like like in Power, for all my Power Ranger friends, it's kind of like in Power Rangers. I, I can't remember which Power Rangers it was, but it was like when the Silver Ranger showed up. Everybody loved the Silver Ranger, but he only showed up, you know, an X amount of times. He never actually became part of the team. I think he did like close to the end, but for a while he was like he would like just show up. Kind of like Racer X in Speed Racer, and everybody and their mama knew that was Speed Racer's brother, but he would always just kind of show up out of nowhere and help Speed Racer out, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, bruh, why don't you just reveal yourself, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, yeah, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, my favorite Dragon Ball character is Gogeta, so that, that's my favorite movie, it's a nostalgia thing. Um, second, second and third is is Broly and superhero? Um, of course, Broly's up there because they had Gogeta in it. And and if you haven't seen these movies, spoiler alert! You should have said if you're watching this video, I assume you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, so I assume you've seen at least most of the movies, at least the newer movies. So, um, yeah, man, freaking um. Dragon Ball Broly had Broly had Gogeta in it and it was a better story because I'm I mean unpopular opinion Broly has been my least favorite character of all the Dragon Ball of all the Dragon Ball type of continuity canon Broly was the to me the worst character ever because his his motivation is he wants to kill Goku because Goku was crying when they were kids. Come on. Come on. You can do better than that. And I feel and and therefore I feel like that's why Dragon Ball uh Super Broly, it was a Z or Super Broly? Okay, it's Super Broly. So Dragon Ball Super Broly was 20 times better because there was an actual motivation. And and it, Frieza got involved and then Paragus and then th- that it just was 20 times better than the old than the old Broly movies. I can't stand the old Broly movies. Uh Superhero is it's they're like I said, there if if Fusion Reborn is one, Broly, Broly and Super, Dragon Ball Super Broly and Dragon Ball Super Superhero are 2A and 2B. Okay? And superhero, to me, superheroes, superhero had a better story. I really liked the story, even though the way it went about it was kind of whack. The character development in this movie was so good. It was so good. Like, you really felt for the like, I can't remember the last Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super where you actually, unless, not counting the manga. Not counting the manga. This is strictly animation. This is strictly the animation. Because uh, the manga really gets in the... The manga does a great job of character. Uh, um, uh, what's the word? I just had it. Um, character growth. It'll come back to me. The manga does a wonderful job of establishing characters in the continuity. The animations, not so much. It's like you learn, but you really don't, you don't know. Um, And so, yeah, 
For me, um, yeah, soup and, and character development. That, thank you, Jesus. Character development. Um, the character development in this movie was outstanding. They they introduced so many new characters, and now I'm like, bring like they need to they need to be part of the the story now. Like they like they need to be part of the story now. They like they need to. These are now. These need to be part of the cast now. That's how good the character development was for those characters. So, um, yeah, man, that it it was really good. Um, I don't feel like there was any kind of. <laughs> I'll put it like this: Japanese sexualization. It's not a lot of it, but it was kind of it was kind of put there just just for the for the hell of it. It was put there for the hell of it. Um, this in this movie, I'll say two things about this movie before I go. The two things, first of all, it was a homage to Dragon Ball. It paid homage to Dragon Ball. That's number one. Um, uh, and they, and and the crazy thing is they did it without Goku, because Goku, and that goes into my second point, because Goku and Vegeta, they're in this movie. There's also somebody else that's in this movie that y'all are gonna be happy to see. Um, but Goku and Vegeta are in this movie. But they're not in the movie, if if that makes sense. And then, um, but this is more so a Piccolo Gohan movie. And everybody in their mama know Piccolo. Piccolo is Gohan. He might have been your, he might have been your father, but he ain't your daddy. That's Piccolo. That's Piccolo to Gohan. So, so, <laughs> so that it was definitely a Gohan and Piccolo movie. Um. They they introduced something with the Dragon Balls that I didn't know, and I but I like it. I want them to to explore that, and in a way, in a way, and if you and it, I'll give my theory in the spoiler review. In the spoiler review, I'll give my theory on this because I think it's going to lead to something in the future. But that's neither here nor there. But um, yeah, yeah. B- Dragon Ball Super Broly. Oh, and the fight sequences was good in this too. So I think Bra- Dragon Ball Super Broly for me it was it 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 was good because it had Gogeta. The story was the story was good. The, the story made more sense for Broly. Um, the fight scenes were great. It was just a good movie. It was an overall solid movie. Dragon Ball Super Superhero, great character development, good story, good fight scenes, transform other transformations too. So to me, they're neck and neck. And if I had, and then I would go Resurrection F, Resurrection F, and then Battle of the Gods would be my top five Dragon. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a, hey, I like I like newer animation. Cause, cause I look back at the old Dragon Ball Z movies, um, Wrath of the Dragon to me it it was good, but it wasn't not it wasn't rememberable. Bojack it was good, wasn't rememberable. I've already told y'all can't stand the Brawly movies. Cooler the Cooler movies were good. The Return of Cooler, Cooler's Revenge was better than the Return of Cooler, but the Cooler movies were good. Um, Super Android 13 was all right. Uh, Tree of Might was pretty good. Lord Slug was pretty good. Um, yeah, Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone. What was that about? Oh, Garlic Jr. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, I, I'm not, I'm not knocking the older movies, but I know... I know um, I just like the newer animation better. I just like the newer animation. And the beautiful thing, and the reason I put Battle of God, because let's be real, Battle of Gods is not that good of a movie. But the reason I put it up there is because I, if I'm looking at the math. Let me look at the math. Battle of the God, the last Dragon Ball Z movie, 
to come out before Battle of the Gods was in 96. Battle of the Gods came out in 13. Um, Battle of the Gods came out in 13. Uh, Dragon Ball, the path, the path to power came out in 1996. So we're talking. It's not it's seven year gap. No, 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 I'm tripping. 2006, 2006, 17 years, 17 years. So Battle of the Gods was a, it was a palate cleanser. It, it really helped us get back in. And then, of course, that's when Su- and then Super came out. The episodes of Super came out. And it, it, I mean, Tournament of Power, Universe 6 Saga. I mean, it was, ah, it was great for all the Dragon Ball movies. But, um, yeah, man, I'm going to do a spoiler review. Um I'm going to do a spoiler review. Watch that if you want to know my theory on what happened in the movie with, when it comes to the Dragon Balls. And yeah, man, I can't wait to talk about it with y'all. It's your boy, Billy Mac. It's your boy, Billy Mac. Please like, subscribe, share. I'll holler at you next time. Hey.